We have just touched down in the Cayman Islands. This is our hotel. I'm standing on the balcony. So plan for today is just to get settled, get some groceries, find out our bearings, and nothing too much is on the menu for today. And man, it is hot. I am sweating buckets. I realized in my intro, I totally forgot to tell you why I'm even in the Cayman Islands. So I am three days out, Wednesday, August 9th, I'll be competing at the North American Powerlifting Championship. So my goal there is to take back the Canadian national total record. So a bit of context, next year nationals isn't going to be until the fall of 2024. So it can't be used for 2024's international qualifying calendar. So I'm using this to try and build a big enough total to qualify for 2024's World Championships. And as of last Saturday, me and my lovely wife Joanna got married, so this is also doubling as our honeymoon. Day two of Cayman Islands, North American Packing Championships slash honeymoon. So today it is the morning right now, I'm basically gonna have protein shake, have some breakfast, some fruits, and a bit of carbs. Then I'm going to head over to the venue to get in my second last workout before competition. When we get back, we're going out to lunch with an old family friend who lives in the Cayman Islands. So for my workout today, I have five sets of doubles at 520. And then for bench, I have three singles at a rank 350 pound range, then some back downs at 330. So let's get to my workout. Let's go check my weight. We are two days out from competition. I am en route to get some groceries. It is hot. I am not looking forward to the walk back. Holding the groceries. We are a couple days out. I'm just getting some pre-comp supplies. So as you saw, I checked my weight this morning. I was 82.4 kilos. The cutoff for my weight class is 83 kilos. And I've spent most of my prep around 84 and a half. So I'm right on point for making weight, which is good. This was my morning weight. When, before I went to bed, I was a bit over 83. So we are right on pace. I'm at a good good spot and not too worried about my weight right now. Welcome to Kamana Bay. I love this island, minus the 40 degree heat. We are one sleep away from the North American Championships. I am currently eating lunch right now. I got some rice and jerk chicken. Um, so basically the plan for today is to chill for the most part, nothing too strenuous. Um, I'm going to be checking my weight pretty regularly just to stay on track. I'll give you guys some exclusive sneak peeks of the weigh-ins and yeah, it's just getting ready. I'm going to build my playlist, watch a motivational sports movie. I do that every single time the day, night before a meet. So that's basically my day. We'll catch up with you tomorrow on game day. We are officially one sleep out. I compete tomorrow afternoon. So I'm doing my late night weight check-in. I'm at about 2,900 calories for the day. So we're going to see where I'm sitting and if I'm in a good spot for tomorrow. So right now I am 83.15 kilograms and the cutoff from my weight class is 83 kilos. So I'm actually a bit lighter than I need to be because I usually do lose a bit over a kilo at nighttime. So this is actually good because I'll be able to eat and drink a little bit going into the competition before my weigh-in. And then you have two hours after weigh-in to kind of eat and rehydrate as well. So I'm in a very good place weight-wise. And yeah, I am pretty excited for tomorrow, so I want to get some rest, do my pre-comp rituals of making my playlist and watching that sports movie, and we'll catch you tomorrow.
So the goal at the North American Powerlifting Championships was to one win, but most importantly was to break the Canadian total record for my weight class to help stamp my way back to the World Championships for 2024, which we did while also being the first Canadian 83 kilo lifter to break that coveted 800 kilogram total barrier. So I am over the moon about that. And while getting there, we also broke the squat, deadlift, and total North American Powerlifting the North American record, and the deadlift commonwealth record. My goodness, I'm tripping over my tongue. I'm just so excited. And lastly, we also won the best overall best lifter at the competition. So I'm really happy with how this competition went. And now I can kind of kick back, relax, and enjoy the rest of the trip. So over the last four months, I've been deep in prep, really tight with my diet, and I'm just happy to enjoy. So for the rest of the trip planned, we are going to be going to the Turtle Center. We're going to be going to see some stingrays, kiss them for seven years of good luck. We're also going to make our way over to the Salt Cave. So I'm going to take you with me on our trip. Let's get going. Stingray Bay and now we are checking out some starfish. They feel pretty hard and a little spiky. It's a pretty cool texture. I like it. Ooh. You got to keep it under the water so it doesn't get all airy they said. But yeah, this is probably the highlight of my trip other than the competition, but honeymoon so far has been 